Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be going over some toothpick related products and accessories and some things that's a must have that I've been using on a daily basis. The reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of you requested it and now I will go ahead and go through these as fast as possible. Now some of these I do not have like this one for example. It can take an X light and the QX7. You can see the cutout. You can remove the cutout which is really uh which is really good right there. You can see that little cutout here and I could put my fat shark here and you can put two of these if you wanted to, but when you lift it up, you see you have more space down here. So it's going to be really interesting to play around with this and get it to the perfect uh, setup for myself. Even if I have to use put my goggles in another case and stick my uh, toothpicks here, I'm very happy with that all in one place and all the batteries and maybe one of those small UR UAV chargers, which I'll show you in a bit. So I'll have these in the links down below as in the way we go. And obviously, if you click them before you make a purchase that greatly supports the channel and i also do have patreon which i'm doing a lot of giveaways there now the full speed toothpick frame this is a really great frame for a couple reasons now this is the 1.5 millimeter version there's also a 2.5 millimeter version however if you're planning to go with hd capabilities like i have then you might want to save as much weight as possible i'm going to do another full tear down of my modified full speed toothpick to drop its weight to like an unbelievable amount like as much as possible for example i want to cut off the ipex port and just solder direct for the vtx i'm getting the zip tie i'm gonna figure out maybe if there's another solution better than a zip tie for the antenna of the receiver i'm gonna go into that in a later video however this is a really great frame for 15 bucks you it, it and it even runs 16 by 16 mounting holes and 20 by 20. Next down the line is the Happy Model Sailfly. I have been using this more than the full speed. Um, it is still the default build of the Sailfly. However, this frame, you need to take something into consideration. It's thicker, so obviously it'll be a bit more durable. It does take 20 by 20 and 16 by 16, but you have to take something into consideration here. If you're running 16 by or 20 by 20 on this, then it'll have to be connected to the canopy. So you can see those little bushings here or the little gummies right there those are in order for you to use the same screw that goes up to the canopy and also do some dampening for the flight controller so keep that in mind saying that it doesn't make it bad at all it's actually what i've been flying mostly now until i perfect my toothpick with the hd capabilities from full speed so this is a really great frame and look at the price ten dollars you, you can't go wrong with this next down the line is we have these motors now why do i love these motors so much well because of the efficiency and the power we're talking about five to seven minutes of flight time here possibly even more if i go even slower uh around 50 percent throttle most of the time and th that's just really great i have the 8500 kv so i am able to run 2s and 3s just fine and you also have to take something into consideration which is the uh motor shaft diameter 1.5 millimeter and this is very important when you pick up the props because i'm also going to show you some really cheap props for 21 bucks you can get like 84 props that's a really great deal. And this is it's never been cheaper to get into this hobby ever and to get that much flight time performance and fly anywhere and be super quiet is just out of this world. So those are really great motors if you're looking for a build. These are okay, but buy them with caution. Now, the URUAV batteries, the 1S are really great, the HVs. But once you start going above the 2S and sometimes the 2S, the quality isn't the best of quality, in my opinion. I've had two of these die out on me already. However, I'm not taking super good care of them, but keep that as a side note. So for 36 bucks here, you can get four batteries. Four batteries, let's just say five minutes of flight time. That's 20 minutes of flight time right here for 35 bucks. That's really great, actually, when you think about it. So, and if you have uh, on-the-go charging capabilities, that's even better. If you're looking for a camera, you're not, you don't have many options. This is the really great priced budget camera with decent latency, which is the Run Cam Racer Nano 2. However, I personally prefer the Run Cam uh, nano i think it's called the run cam racer nano just this one here this one's really great i really like it it's a little bit more expensive but these two are great options i personally wouldn't recommend the caddx because of that rainbow effect and especially if you're flying in woods or someplace probably even a bando and you have some breakup it can get a bit difficult to uh see where you're going and you won't even notice this until you actually use a better camera and this is something to take note of here next down the line are the propellers that i mentioned earlier for 21 bucks you can get 84 props here 
that's a really great deal. You can even get more, I think, because the price drops even. But yeah, you can get roughly 84 props for 21 bucks. And uh, if it's you know gonna take forever, just you know pay the extra expedited shipping here, 14 bucks. If you add more, usually that drops. That I get these in three days when I order it that way. So yeah, these are really great. Obviously, link down below so you get a ton of these. Uh, those are really great props. Now the Crazy Bee F4 Pro or the Crazy Bee board, everybody hates on it. Just it's the most un predictable piece of thing that's ever been created however with the latest revisions it seems to be very durable and i have been thoroughly testing this one on the sailfly x because that's what it's running now the reason for mine lasting so long i think is due to the low esr capacitor that's connected directly to the xt30 so it's very important to put those low esr capacitors on these boards that's one thing that'll help with the you know the inrush of current and then keep the mosfets overall in a good shape another thing why these will have more tendency to break than anything else that's after like use i'm talking about well so far mine i put over 70 life was it still great no i don't see any issues with it but the probability of it going out faster than anything else if you have been using it is due to a couple reasons one we get more flight time you're gonna fly a lot more often um, it just gets more abuse, you know, the constant current of 2 amps, is not, it doesn't sound like much, but if it's rated for 8 amps or 12 amps, that's like 25% of its capability. And those amps, you know, do do add up and they, they heat up the components and heat is what really destroys components here. So uh, just, you know, take it easy. If you do burn one, then you know why it burned. If you're using it quite a lot. So that low ASR capacitor will reduce some of that effect. Till this day, I haven't burned one, which is insane, even though I've heard so many bad things about these. However, this one is 2.1 version. I don't know what's the difference between the two, the one, and the 2.1. I think it's just the FETs and maybe, and some difference in the voltage regulators, I think, or the filtration. I'll tell I'm going to go down deeper in the detail in a later video once I pick one of these up here, because currently the one that I'm using from this is the one that's currently inside my Sailfly X, and uh, so far it's been great for me. And uh, obviously I'm waiting for it to break, so we find the issue, fix it, and possibly find a mod to make it better. Next down the line. I haven't tested these. I want to test them because Kebab speaks so highly of them. So yeah, I'll have these linked down below. If anyone uses them, let me know down in the comment section. But if you've used them and you've also used the Happy Model version, let me know also because that's where it really counts because I want to know if they're actually better or not. This is a very useful uh, tool here, especially if you're on the go charging three SHVs, two SHVs, and one SHVs. Check this out. So you can charge all of these, which is really great. And it even has a little LED indicator and it has the fuses. There's other ones that are four bucks cheaper, but I did not put those in here. And I have this one on the way because this has fuses. So if, you know, short circuit happen, it'll possibly save your battery, save your charger, and even save your house. So for $11, this is a really great deal. And uh, that's why I'm posting it here. This is, I, I to be honest, I... I don't know what to do without this thing what this does is it takes two 1s batteries and makes them into a 2s xt30 and that is how i fly most of the time on my toothpicks and i'm still getting five minutes of flight time which is really great especially if you purchase previous ones that have 1s h you know a previous quadcopter that came with 1s hv batteries then that's going to be really great for you because this will really help so either get yourself one or two highly recommended uh if, especially if you lose them i have two currently so um yeah you're definitely gonna need this if you have a bunch of 1s hvs this is also interesting i have this on the way it's the same you know the normal this little portable charger i think i showed in my previous video however this this is a complete kit that comes with the xt30 parallel charging which is a really nice feature really nice option however the price is slightly higher than usual where i would pay 83 dollars for this is efficiency and what do i mean by this so let's make let's do a theoretical example here so we have this isd charger and we also have a URUAV charger that's exactly identical but obviously the charging part is different but we're going to be able to charge four xt30s at a time now the efficiency comes in power loss so for example we had a 10 percent power loss uh on this one what that means is we could charge more batteries so if we had on on the URUAV, for example we had a 50 percent power loss we're only going to be able to charge a lot less batteries so if we could charge 10 batteries with 10 percent power loss on this and with the URUAV with the 50 percent power loss we're only going to be able to charge five batteries you see where this makes a difference you, you see what i mean so i want to start testing power loss on this because that will be a really interesting because you can get an extra maybe four batteries and that could be really great especially when you're in the field and you're using that same like 5,000 milliamp 
uh, battery that you just have laying around so you use that to do your charging in the field and um, yeah that could make a big difference so that's why I also put put this here I haven't tested it myself yet uh, but I, I brought the equipment I bought the equipment to test it and I'm just waiting for that to, it'll take forever to come here but it's on its way also test these little batteries they're not the best they're good I'm using them constantly uh, but the, for the toothpick class they're working phenomenal and you know I could showcase that for you all day I could just show you all my footage that I've been using mostly these batteries here and with that adapter because these are 1s and this is a really great deal 16 bucks you basically get two and a half batteries they're five batteries but a toothpick would take two and then two and then this one will just be left out this one I showed previously this is a six charger it charges six 1s high volts or lipos so keep that in consideration and what's really nice it's it's small it's somewhat small and it does take dc which means you could charge on the go with another battery and it also takes ac which means you could just plug it into the wall without needing a power supply so this is, has everything built in which is a really nice option however in reality if you're if you're doing this to fly your toothpick then you're only charging three batteries because it's six in total and you need two batteries to make a 2s so we have one battery two battery three batteries so you're charging three batteries at a time basically and if we go to this one this one's four but you actually charge more uh 2s batteries this way because it actually charges 2s and 1s and nickel metal hydride but we're not going to get into that so you could charge either four 1s hvs or lipos and then you could also charge four 2s hvs so you can get one more battery extra here which is a really nice uh, feature to have and it, it does the same thing it's both it takes dc and ac and uh yeah everything will be linked down below also this one's really nice it charges five 1s hvs and it has a usb port but it's only dc input which means just a uh, external battery input uh this one i don't know why i put this here because i want to get it i want to test it out and a, ba a backpack this is the backpack what i'm using uh, you you can't beat this i don't think you, there's a way to beat this price i really don't think so and if there is link it down below so all these will be linked down below guys i really hope you enjoyed the video i really hope it was useful to someone out there and let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one peace out